Hi guys, welcome to a series Logics in the Quran, where I take a very quick look at the logics used and deployed in the Islamic scripture, where there are dozens of sentences like here directed at what is called men or people, whatever, of understanding. And then like this one here in 2128, or as is claimed here by a typical Muslim Chapter apologist. Chapter 3 verse 190 and 191. Allah says, Indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and day, and it are signs for people of understanding. Okay, think about this. Now Allah, this is Allah speaking. He's saying, in this entire universe, in this creation of the heavens and the earth, there are signs there. No doubt, there are signs. Okay? As Muslims, we can see these signs and we appreciate them. Allah says these signs are for people of understanding. And this is chapter 3, sentence number 190. So now, let's look at the logics of this. A creator God, an all-knowing creator God, a benevolent, all-merciful, all-knowing creator God, creates people individually. And he creates people with understanding and creates people without understanding or knowledge or intellect or intelligence or whatever it is called then puts out signs for those understanding these very signs. The ones not understanding will not submit and are punished in hell eternally. And the ones who are being created with understanding, of course, understand the signs and they are rewarded. Can anyone explain to me how this works? The all-knowing God creates people who cannot understand the signs he expects them to understand, knowing they will not understand this, and then punishes them for not understanding what he has created. Now, what makes it worse is that this creator God knew all along, because it's all-knowing. It was creating people without understanding, who would, as a consequence, not submit, of course, because they were not understanding, and then punishes them brutally, eternally, in hell. Is that logical? Can anyone explain this to me? Thank you and see you again in another episode of Logics in the Quran.